We've seen a lot of energy, especially yeah. toward the coast in these yeah. thunderstorms that have popped up. A lot of wild weather. Yeah, the heaviest rain has been falling just east of here, and we've had heavy rain in and of ourselves. Isolated flood threat continues today. We'll get into that in a second. First, we'll take it back a couple weekends ago to when it was sunny. Gorgeous shot here from Presida. Thank oh, you so much. It's beautiful. From high above just the wonderful. ground. It is. Yeah, Balloon Festival a few weeks ago in Lexington. Thank you so much for sending in this gorgeous shot there. And a whole lot of sunshine, of course. You need pretty much pristine conditions to get one of those balloons up. So you're not blown all over the place. And it was pretty calm behind a cold front there a couple weeks ago. Temperatures in the 60s and 70s right now. It is muggy. Most of us, though, are dry. So if you're looking for a dry opportunity to run to the car or to walk the dog this morning, I think you'll have several minutes to do so. Really more than that. And I think we're going to be dry through much of the next couple of hours. Again, the showers we've been tracking. Look at that little dot there in Giles County. That's about it. We have picked up a lot of rain though over the past several days over the past 24 hours. Look at this accumulations anywhere from four to five, maybe even close to six inches of rain in parts of Halifax County. That is what triggered the flash flood warning late last night. Anywhere from two to four inches of rain in the Roanoke Valley yesterday around an inch of rain in parts of the New River Valley closer to two inches in the Hill City in and around the Hill City. Temperatures back in the mid 70s through 11 o'clock. We'll see scattered showers and thunderstorms. You see there those chances again go up through the second half of the morning and really once we get into the early part of the afternoon with the saturated ground and again with the heavy nature of the rain in these thunderstorms still a flood threat out there not as high as it was yesterday but nonetheless there is going to be an isolated flood threat continuing today this is what we're waiting for though Thursday into Friday we're going to finally dry things back out and I think that continues into part of Saturday as well Decent rain chances, maybe even a couple more inches of rain coming our way once we get from Sunday all the way into early next week. So we're going to keep this wet pattern going, all things considered. Satellite and radar showing we have a few showers developing again on the western slopes into West Virginia. So Pocahontas and Greenbrier County, we're going to get in on some light rain. In the short term, maybe a stray shower trying to push into downtown Danville. Otherwise, most of us are dry this morning. You see here, there's 3, 4 o'clock this afternoon. Those storms really starting to increase. The darker reds and purples indicating the heavy rain that's been in these thunderstorms with all the moisture in our atmosphere. See what happens overnight into tomorrow. There's 8 o'clock. Those storms go away and we get some sunshine to break free. Good morning in Pembroke. We are at 75. Also that mark for us in Hillsville. Low to mid 80s across south side in central Virginia as we are also dodging scattered showers and storms. Drying out for the most part from Thursday through Saturday. Better rain chances early next week.